Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, a little bit different today. I'm out in the glorious Cotswold sunshine. Uh, we're on the Monarch Way, I think it's called. And basically, I'm going to take out the Sony 85mm f1.8 and we're going to shoot some beautiful landscapes and we're going to go all the way from here, Monarch Way, all the way up to Batsford Arboretum, which is that way. So let's go. So from filming just there, I've noticed this beautiful house that's got a lovely gate at the back. So we're just going to square that up. F4.5. Beautiful. Now there's two shots here that caught my eye. One of the lovely gate, but also this beautiful sort of leading line that people have made through the bushes. That tractor should come into view soon. I can see straight ahead actually, there's some lovely, I presume it's wheat or corn, but still has not been harvested yet. The tractor's out mowing all these lawns this morning. And that looks like it could be a great shot just up there using the sort of gate post as you walk through with like a, a reference. So we could get the gate in focus and then a bit of shallow depth of field on the corn or maybe vice versa. Let's have a look when we get there. I'm desperate to get a shot of this tractor. And oh my God, here it is, it's coming in. F1.8, here it comes. Yes, lovely. Well, this guy's just coming again with his dog, so I better get a shot. Perfect, beautiful. Thank you very much. Nice doggy. Same as my dogs, actually, yeah. yeah. Nuts, absolute nuts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she might have a snooze this afternoon, then, eh? <laughs> and also, if you're wondering why I keep carrying this tripod, this k &F concept tripod, is because as much as it's great if you've just got it inside, in a studio or whatever, but travel-wise, it is absolutely crap. So if you've got any recommendations, guys, for a travel tripod, don't recommend the Peak Design one. I know it's amazing, but I'm not spending 500 odd pounds on a carbon tripod. So if any of you guys have got some cheap alternatives, but fairly lightweight, that doesn't bother me so much, but it's just easy to fold, unfold, all that good stuff, put away. Because this thing, yeah, it takes too long. But onwards we go. So I've just stumbled across this bridge as I make my way further to the Arboretum. Nothing special, but I quite like these handrails, as sort of ugly as they are, quite a nice leading line. So let's get a shot of that. What I've forgot is I'm at 85 mil, so I better move back a bit. I don't know if you can see, but well, we're now undulating, we're going up and down. I don't know what this is. I would say mining. But it's definitely not mining. I think we're getting closer to the house that I was trying to snap right at the beginning. It looked great from far away, but then as I got closer to where I could take a picture, the opportunity got worse. So I'd probably need, I don't know, 400 mil lens or something to, to get the picture what I wanted. Oh, it's I've left my tripod. Oh, someone left the gate open for me. Right, sort of exciting because that is the first piece of civilization I've seen 
since walking for about the past 30, 35 minutes. It's the first house or building that I've seen. Oh, there's a nice wall there as well. What have we got going on here then? Where does that go and where does that go? Right. Which way do we go? Left towards the house or right? I kind of want to follow the nice wall. Let's go that way and see where it takes us. Not sure if I'm kind of lost now. Thought I was going towards the house. Well, one thing I did want to mention is, you know, when you're shooting just one focal length, like today, I'm using the 85 millimeter, but obviously on a crop sensor body on the A6400. So I'm effectively shooting at 127.5 full frame equivalent. So it's pretty telly, pretty telly photo and, um, or telly zoom, telly photo even the word. Do you call it that? No idea. But it's pretty zoomed in anyway. And um, I just took a shot of some wood logs that have been cut down back there. And you know, it, it really shows that you've got to literally zoom with your feet. And in this case, I was zooming out. I walked up to it and I just had to go further back and back and back. I've just seen a lovely gated area back there where the, the gate's missing in between two walls and there's, a, there's an old post hanging over. Couldn't get the shot because I, I couldn't get far enough away. Um, so, I'm hoping this will just improve my, my compositional awareness. I think that's the best way to describe it, you know. I think when you have a zoom lens, you can become complacent. And that's one of the reasons why I've put off buying the Sigma 18 to 50 2.8 or the Tamron 17 to 70 f 2.8, because I think it'll make me a little bit lazy. I'll just zoom in and out. And also you won't get the sharpness obviously of a prime lens. Um, I think I do probably want one in my kit eventually for, well, mainly for video actually, to be honest, rather than photo, because uh, it's so versatile. But but now I'm really enjoying this F2 Pro. And this is also the first time I've come out with this 85 mil, the first shots I've ever taken on it, apart from one or two practice ones in the house. Um, some lovely more, cornfields here glorious weather I'm rambling literally oh don't know if you can see but there's a first spot of that house what does that look like from here tripods getting on my nerves what does that look like from here can we get a shot through there yes we can that looks good, that. I'm happy with that. Onwards with this annoying tripod. So I honestly thought by now I'd actually be at the house. Uh, you know, we could go left or right. We went right, probably should have gone left. The house is somewhere over there. But what we have got, some nice outbuildings. So let's get some shots of those. Uh, apologies also for the amount I am sweating, honestly. It is disgusting, but such is the beautiful weather we're having in the UK right now, and we're not used to it, so my body is just sweating. And hopefully I can turn this pasty paleness a little bit more golden, but we shall see. Let's take some shots. So I think by mistake rather than design, I've actually ended up in this beautiful house that I was trying to get to, like the main attraction, but I think I've actually ended up in their garden rather than, oh my God, that pond over there is beautiful. I'm sure I'm actually in their garden. I probably shouldn't be in here. So I'll quickly take some photos and then we'll scarper. Thank you. 
So I think you'll almost certainly agree. Oh, deer's over there. Amazing. You know where the next shot is. But I think you'll all agree, I think I've pretty much saved the best till last. Look at that house. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Definitely the main attraction of this little walk. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's been something a bit refreshing on the channel. Uh, I'm definitely going to do more of it. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed this. It's been amazing. There's still so much more stuff I want to photo, which has really got my imagination. This has been really, really good for me as well. So yeah, I hope you guys really did and, and enjoy and like this video. I'm even stuttering, I'm that excited. But yeah, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. You're going to get plenty more of this type of content coming. Um, I'm really enjoying creating it, which is the main thing. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I'll catch you in the next one. So I know I just ended the video, but oh my God, on the way back, walking back through along that outer sort of perimeter fence, if you like, where I said I could just see the deers. Um, as I was walking back, they all came down to basically greet me on that outer edge. So some of the shots, um, I hope anyway, when I get them on the computer, they look absolutely incredible. There was a big stag there with these big stag horns, if that's what they're called. Absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, amazing. De the house definitely was not the highlight. Those guys coming over for a photo. Um, clearly, they've done that before because um, as soon as they saw me, they all started moving from one tree to the next in the shade. So they went from one tree to the next tree until they were basically probably 20 feet away from me. So perfect for the 85mm Sony. Um, so I hope you like the photos. Catch you in the next one.